bud kind of a transfer case here working on the drive shaft the u-joints there's a this one here goes to the engine this one goes to the front axle this one here goes to the back axle and this one here must go to the rear pto because uh so i'm just trying to just roughing it in right now and i built the steering cylinders so i'll bring them down and show you i'll come back down here and Doug can kind of peek in there and show you Okay, a little bolt back more, a little dead. There you go. And I'll try to climb up here. And the first step is going to try to look down in there. You'll see the steering cylinders. And uh, I just got those made this morning. And I got the little pins in the frame there. So now what happens is I, uh, I made this frame piece here I bent this up and that's going down in the bottom that's going to hold the transfer case and then you know this this here will set down in there Deb I don't know if you can peek down in there or not to get it or not. so that drive shaft goes there I still got to tweak the I got to tweak all the drive shafts so this is just the very early stages to where I'm going to see it where it fits in there so it'll be close right there so there's the I still got to do a little bit more fabricating on the back of the engine here. And then uh, that's where that engine drive shaft will go in. And down there is where the, the drive shaft will go towards the front axle. And then down there is where the rear axle will go. And then this here, this one here must be to the, to the rear PTO. So so I'm making progress. It's a little, little tricky, but uh, it's uh, going good. I uh, I had a fella send me some pictures, Nathan Nathan Miller out of Montana. He's got two real big buds, and I was having problems seeing what kind of detail there was down in here. So he jacked up his cab on his tractor yesterday and uh, took several pictures for me to see a little bit more what was down in there. So thanks again, Nathan. I appreciate that. And uh, so next... Next, once I see the transfer case and the cylinders, the steering cylinders, where they go, then I can start seeing where the other, some of the other, the other lines go. There's a lot of hydraulic lines down in here, and then they all feed back into this centerpiece that goes back to the, the hydraulic coupler. So there's a lot of pieces yet to go just underneath the cab, and I'm enjoying it. I, I want it to look kind of realistic. I got the other side of the engine almost done. But there's still a lot to do on the engine for finishing it up. So at least this way you guys are getting a little bit of an idea. Hey, have a great day.